Hello everybody, welcome back. Russ here with more Pokemon Scarlet. And we are opening yet another episode with a new Pokemon reveal via Evolution. So then, we have seen Mushroom Toad... Uh, Mushroom Tentacool. So, how shall Mushroom Tentacruel turn out? Toad School is evolving. So I was running around fighting the trainers on the routes I've already been through, you know. Just mugging people for the mu- oh. 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 Oh, you're scary. But kind of awesome? I mean, Tentacruel is awesome, so... Huh. Do I keep you? These Pokémon gather into groups and form colonies within forest. They absolutely hate it when strangers approach. Ooh. Huh. Ah. See, I've been running around, catching some stuff, beating up the trainers on routes I've already been through. Did I get this guy? No, if he's got the speech bubble, it means he's, um... Unbeaten. So, how are you? Yeah, you still have the move last when using... Hmm. You have amazing special defense. Considering you have a low speed nature, that's still pretty good. And your attacks are about even. Huh. I'm not sure about you. Use reflects the target's type and becomes the same type. Ooh. Still, not a lot of move options for you, though. Hmm. Huh. This might be a bench for now and consider later, like Grafii. But unlike, you know... Grafii, and when, even back when it was Shrudel. <sighs> Tentashroom hasn't really been pulling weight on the team that well. Hmm. You want to do that? Because if it's like the previous games, that'll unlock more boxes. <laughs> yep. I hear you can't get like little backgrounds for your boxes like in older games. So, who's going in this slot now? Realizing... Oh, I have a nasty weakness to ground. I'm just realizing that. He would also need to ground. And I also want to use new stuff. What do we have? Yeah, I've caught a lot of crap between episodes. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've seen this thing's evolution. Um, eh. I just fought a trainer with this thing's evolution. Seems to be bug and fighting. Which, hello, flying types. Cyclazar is cute. Alright, I do have Ghost Dog. Hmm. You have Pickup? Ooh! Three physical hitters already, and a special hitter with a low special attack nature. So, I should probably get some more special hitters. Which, oh right, no, the Dolphins actually is a physical hitter. I looked it up, I looked up its stats. I just got garbage nature. You're a physical hitter? Fuck! I need special ass kickers.
God damn it. There's a... Uh, not a lot of options in that uh, category, is there? Fuck, all the new stuff is physical. Dunsparce is also a physical Pokemon. You seem to be more physical based. You're definitely. Jesus. I'm not saying, doesn't Donphan have an evolution? But again, that would go to. Would you be special? I mean. Oh, yeah, absolutely, because you're far higher with the attack up nature. So this one's a shitty nature, which I might not want. And I'm also kind of, uh, it's evolution. <sighs> we'll keep you for now. Maybe you learn some better moves. Maybe that special stat will, um... But, um... Yeah, I saw a lot of new Pokemon, so I'm missing a lot of, uh... My reactions to those. It might not have been the best idea to go, um... Oh, we have Avalug. To go running around and, um... Oh, Hi Hippowdon's in the game. Pretty much out in the Psychic Gem Town, I decided since I have Dunsparce, who has run away, so I can always escape from mob Pokemon... I pretty much just ran around encountering shit to get it seen in the Pokedex and then running for my life. So, um, yeah, we've seen Low Kicks, the Grasshopper evolution. Oh, yeah, this thing might be cool. Watch it be physical as well. But that one trainer used, Veluza, it's water and psychic, which is cool. Lives in the West Seas and Lakes. Huh. Maybe instead of being over here, maybe I should, um, stick on the path until I maybe get close to the shore? Because this thing seems cool. That's High Dragon before it, so it's just... Is it a one stage, or maybe this is an evolution? <laughs> Lives at Casaroya Lake. Maybe some kind of fish. Is that its evolution? Ooh. Ooh, that's got me interested now. What's before Rufflet? Ah, Avalog. I knew Delibro was in the game already. Oh yeah, Alamomala's in the game. Skrelp's in. So Dragalge is. Cool. What's that thing called? I forgot. From Alola. The... Another psychic fish. Wasn't it just pure psychic type? Oh yeah, but encounter this wild son of a bitch, Houndstone. I didn't notice the one I encountered. I just thought it was bigger grievered with Tombstone instead of Candlehead. You know, I encountered it, I ran because it was like level 50. But yo, it's like actually a skeleton now. Spooky. Oh yeah, um, I fought a trainer who had this thing, which I assume is the pre-evolution of Revavroom. So what is it? It's steel and poison! Interesting. Hello, double ground weakness. Yeah, so Team Stars was absolutely modified, which is why it didn't appear as seen in the decks. So steel and poison... Interesting. Bombardier. So that's not an evo evolution of anything, it's just its own thing. I encountered this thing. Although when it was flying, that, like, apron hanging underneath it, it kind of curved, and it almost had, a, had like, a crescent moon look to it. Oh, yeah, I bumped into this near the Psychic Gem. Tinkatuff. So we know this thing's next evolution step. Encountered Mudsdale. What's after Mudsdale? Ah, 
Larvesta and Volcarona. Sandow, we've seen a guy pull, whip out a Crookedow. Right. Here it is. Espathra. It kind of looks cooler in its art than it, the model did. Ah, uh, and Hippopotas. Hmm. Oh, it's not flying either. It's just pure psychic. Oh, I can see the model, but I can't, like, turn it. Yeah, kind of freaky. But I guess cool in its own weird way. Oh, right, this fucking thing. I saw this, and at first I glance, I thought it was a rose raid. I saw, like, I thought I saw the red flower, and I guess I thought the greenish one was like, wait, no, the other flower's blue, isn't it? Then it was like, what the fuck is that? Grass and fire. That is an interesting combo. Trumpius. Y'all are everywhere. Counter Klefki, Senes T. What's Bower 4 Klefki? Mimikyu. Where can I find you? Northeastern forests. Encounter Gotharita, so that line's in. Oh right, that one trainer without a go-goat. Found Altaria. Oh yeah, encounter Watchel's evolution. Kill a Watchel. <laughs> That's a noise, good lord. So yeah, uh, added quite a few things added to the decks as seen at least. Finally found a fucking Flambebe. <laughs> Got cats. Oh yeah, encounter Nockley's evolution. Nockle stack? Nockle stack? I don't know. The Minecraft Pokemon. And then I'm guessing it's another evolution of it because it's very square. Oh, this should... No habitat known. Doesn't Donphan have an evolution? No, that's Qfant. Huh. Is prehistoric Donphan not in here? In here, I thought you got a new evolution. Weird, because I encountered the Donphan also around the Psychic Gem Town. But it was level 20 on, like, the fucking level 40s and 50s of everything else. Alright, I encountered Applin in a raid, so that was cool. I can't remember what it was. I think it was Electric type. So yeah, I've encountered quite a few things since the last episode. And, oh, this is ready. Hell yeah, dust balls. Those are great. Four more for shiny stone. So yeah, I've seen quite a few th new things. I didn't have much comment on most of them, just I thought the ostrich thing was kind of freaky looking and weird. And I was like, oh, so the griever is just bigger, but it's a tombstone instead of a candle. I didn't notice he was skeletal. And it's fucking raining. Fine, you go up first. Guess I missed the trainer on the route. Don't want to do my job, no! That's a mood. Office worker, Kristen. Boo Boo Keys. Alrighty then. during next turn, so fuck you. You know what? Screw it. I don't care about the rain. Plus, I think this is like the last trainer on this route, so I'm heading to town and doing the Pokemon Center. And the rain stopped. Perfect timing. 
I've actually been having a really tough time at work lately, but that actually helped. Nothing like letting yourself act childish when you're feeling overwhelmed. Mood. I'll give you that, sir. So yeah, I ran over and activated this Pokemon Center for the fast travel at one point. Alright! Prize for beating up all those trainers. Stomping Tantrum. Hell yeah. Bum bum bum. I never actually went into the city and explored it though. Since last episode was just wandering aimlessly and then getting myself somewhere I shouldn't be, maybe I should just do the gym here now. Get some progress in, but yeah, I saw this from the center. New one, then just buy one. Lavincia! How you liking Lavincia? Business and tech are what we pride ourselves on. Yo, this, this is a jam though? Dun, dun, dun. North of here. The city's main street, just north here, and it says, wow, in Lavincia, like being slap dab in the middle of all those neon signs. Also a mood. But also, ew, going out. Woo! What we got in here? Ground? I don't know what the fuck that is. Maybe I should hit that up. Ooh, Grimers. Refi Eye's probably good. Perfect! <laughs> oh. Is Sludge just weak or Sludge Bomb? God, it's a move you never see. Another thing in the Pokedex. Good lord. Born from sludge, these Pokemon now gather in polluted places to increase the bacteria in their bodies. Grimer Toxin. I'm sure it's safe for me to be fucking around with that. Well, if you need to catch another dolphin, here you go. Oh, the creepy mice. Fucked in my party. Maybe Grafi and Slash would have been good. Poison Fang would have been too much.
I'll try to be gentle. Maybe too gentle. face when it takes damage. Well, this thing called Toad Scroll, which will make sense with the previous name. Yeah, Toad Scroll. There's a science power that enables it to distort the space around it and see into the future. Future! Alrighty. And if I can find wild glades, I can probably find wild Gardevoirs. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, I did not see you. Not a good matchup. Oh, yeah. This guy eats shit against flying, huh? Grounding grass in Rotom! Oh, and blue squawkabilly. Don't have that color yet. I have yellow and green, yeah. Let's say this won't kill, but you have levitate, don't you? Mega Drain, my safest bet. Haha. <laughs> So yeah, Toad Scroll, since we're taking on the Electric Gym next, you, uh, you might just be the ace in the hole here. Okay, I should probably go for Ultra, because I know Rotom has, like, shit catch rate. Because this thing was, like, a legendary in its debut game. Yeah, this, this could be problematic. I don't have anything that can, like, sleep, can I? Alright, this is problematic. Damn it, if it wasn't daytime, I could use dust balls. You know, they probably lowered Rotom's catch rate when it became, like, a regular semi-wild rare Pokemon instead of a one-in-its-game legendary. Its electric-like body can enter some kinds of machines and take control in order to make mischief. Alright, Toad Scroll, you're not going up against these parrots. Okay, let's get a blue Squawkabilly. Fucking taunts and he just flips them off. Okay, I like you, middle finger monkey. What the fuck? It's not been 24 minutes. I have barely even moved from where I started and I haven't done anything. How? What the fuck? Did I talk that long at the start? Jesus. How does time work? The largest of their flocks can contain more than 50 individuals. They fly around towns and forests searching for food and making a racket. Was that the same? It felt it. I thought the different colors had different entries. Where yellow and another Rotom. I should catch another one. Eh. Too lazy. Keep the show moving. La Vincia. Oh, fashion? Zapeldia footwear. 
Any day now. So we can get high tops here. Ooh. Type fiends. we got hats that was a trapper hat uh that flat cap I can consider these later. And socks, which I can't even really see on this. Since we wear socks day in day out, they just gotta be comfy as can be. I don't care if a bag can't fit much inside as long as it's stylish. Oh, the sports sites. I can't really, uh, see them in this outfit. I'll do fashion souls later. Kitty. Hi. So this is Iona's gym. I've seen it in her video so many times. Can't believe I'm actually here. Is this food or more fashion? Picnic knacks. Uh. I don't care. Oh, it's right, just right here in the main street. Did you watch it? See the latest episode of the Ono Zone? The collab with Tulip was great. Iono's super cute, isn't she? The most popular streamer around, hands down. This power special moves. Nice. Having greenery around the city is good for our well-being. Helps me feel less stressed. Life in Levinci is exhilarating. Always something going on. Pokemon work hard when they battle. The more balance they take part in, the more the efforts stack up. Oh, effort ribbon girl. Alright. The fuck I can't! See? You lie. More fashion. Bags. Or not. Oh, this is the fancy people store. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the rich shop. That they always have to have. Jesus Christ. Why is a sweatband so much? Oh my god.
Is that, is that bird credit card? Okay, that's adorable. Okay, that's also adorable. <laughs> Berrios! Well, that's the psychic gym leader, isn't it? I think some people in her town did say she was a model. Sandwich! More recipes, I will. That I'll never use. Just have a Rotom floating above. Okay. Sure. Boom, 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 boom. boom. It is very easy to accomplish absolutely nothing in this game. Ooh, surf! Uh, am I now getting... Lost in shady alleyways. I had to catch Pokemon later, so I need to eat something that will give me catching power. Go for Treasure Eatery and Madali, but Kaskarawa's Kofu Lounge is also good. Should we call the Flying Taxi? Is the only thing in door buildings and towns just restaurants and clothes shops? It's a little disappointing. Wouldn't make a sandwich, but I'd run clean out of picks, would you believe it? Go through them so fast, better buy them in bulk from now on. How much is I supposed to get again? Afraid I don't have an answer yet regarding that. Business, 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 business. Is this working? Okay, well that's where the gym battle's gonna take place. Oh, God. All the towns are huge. Ryan's new track just dropped. Gotta check it ASAP. Everything in Tool's own edition line makeup is so lovely, I'm spoiled for choice. <laughs> this guy's gonna be crazy tall. My neck hurts trying to take them all in. Five of them. Apparently, five of these buildings are owned by a real estate firm called Paldea Realty. But items aren't. Check it at once. I saw that. Hell yeah. Valencia, huh? Where did the name come from? That old word, Levin or Leviathan? Maybe because the city has all these soaring buildings and its million volt skyline. Could it be from Levin? You know, like rising bread? Probably not. Look with it. Don't back down. My idol. Okay. He's on the neon signs. He pops up on one screen and the next, then another. Oh, Brassius, I'm your biggest fan. Notice me, Senpai. You can use a TM machine to create any TM you've ever gotten before. Let's relax a bit. But show me having got to the office? Of course, understand. 
That Pokemon you could ride over water, leaving the ocean without a care. Lincey started as a port town that shipped ore from the mines to various places. Hard to believe that humble port went on to become the high-flying business hub it is today. Gonna create real synergy, you'll see. Serious, aha, I see. Items, 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 items. Give me. <laughs> See, these electricities generate a species of Pokemon called Tadbulb. What hard workers. We suck them dry against their will. And toss out the carcasses to the Carvana when we are done with them. Vince, it's nice and safe thanks to all the security cameras about the place. Here are the footage they capture is used for the gem test. <laughs> I like boats. <laughs> Electric terrain. See, this is why you fucking poke your nose everywhere. Boats is stuck in there. Wish I could sail to the bottom of the sea. A perfect shot. Electric Terra Shard. Close to Cabo Poco, famous professor. Hershey has some sort of lab at the base of the lighthouse like Kabo Paku. Remember the famous professor? I haven't seen her on TV or in the papers in a while. Is she fucking around in the crater doing God knows what? And I'm legitimately wondering if she might turn out to be like a villain. Because Director Clavel seemed very concerned about her. It's a real change. Change your look off also changes your whole mood. You can go all sorts of ways depending on the clothes you wear. Wait, are, are there clothes besides the fucking school uniforms? No. Fingerless mitts. Retro jet helmet. Ah, uh, this is where people get in the frickin'. What the fuck? Oh my god. It's a shitload of helmets. Well, now we know where Team Star does their shopping. Ba -na 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 you got in here? Support backpacks. Same kind of plane. <laughs> I say getting to oh, just different colors of the skeleton one. Nothing really sticks out to me. Ooh, glasses. Oh, this place is sporty sunshades. Nothing else.
I get some of those paralyzed heals. Right away, on it, sir. Wow, so big. Chinese restaurant? This one actually looks really good. Pickled Toad School? Ew. Never mind. I noticed there was a streamer quite a few years ago now. How old is she anyway? Low tops. Welcome to the fucking shopping episode. Well, window shopping, really. Driving gloves. Ooh, beanies. Oh, yes, the weed smoker beanie. Temptation. Save my money for now, because it's a little tight. My looks you as far as a nice sheen to it, huh? Always give it a wash, first thing after a battle. And he is a very pretty kitty. Yes, he is, Mr. Angry Face. Yes, you are, Mr. Resting Bitch Face. I love the Shanks line so much. I like photos of scenic places as much as anyone, but the most memorable photos for me are always the ones of people or Pokemon. How about you want some? Of these nuts? Oh, frame rate is dying. The game is fighting for its life. I can't get enough shots of this view. Trick room, that's good. Alright, let's go beat up a streamer. Was there two exits in the town? Oh, is that one of those lighthouses? Yeah. You could probably fly there. But first thing first. Humiliating a streamer alive. Somehow miss this. So cool. So nice. Live streaming, huh? Live stream Pokemon battles can be fun to watch, but I want to see them in person. Pottery class is now for Nada, I'm telling you. That'll be our next big project. I know there'd be good shit down here. Light screen. And yeah, wasn't it reflect on the other side? So, perfect. Alright, where's her gym at? It's on this street. All right, Gym 3, Electric. Hey, it's me. How's the gym journey? Which one are you going for now? Wait, seriously? I'm close by. Hang on, I'll come say hi. Hey, hey, there you are. Look at you with two badges already. Awesome. And this is the gym you chose to be number three, huh? Well, you're up to the challenge for sure. But, like, just to be safe, you probably better have a pre-gym warm-up battle with me. No. I really think you'll be glad you had some practice. This gym leader's tough. Now let's go! Come on, the field of battle awaits. Okay, we just get dragged into it. I'm like, were you gonna throw down here in the lobby? Damn it, Nimona. It has been a while since we last 
threw down literally the beginning of the game. Surprised she took this long to force us into a fight. Before you take on a gem, it's good to see if you can find the battle court in town and check it out. Also helps to see where the court is, what it's made of, stuff like that. These things might affect how the battle goes. You know, one look at your face, it's obvious you're getting even stronger. I think it's time I start introducing you to some of my harder hitters. Alright, ready? No. Let's have us a fruitful battle. Trainer Nimona. Puppy. Think of this as a practice run for your next gym battle. Come at me with everything you've got. Oh, wow, that was exceedingly effective. Assuming she follows up with the cat, Crocolore can take a hit. Yeah, Rock Girl, we can take that. Oh, she's coming out with Pommy next. So she's saving the cat for last. It's evolved. That's why. I've seen the cat's final evolution. I don't know about its middle form, though. I haven't seen any of the other starter final evolutions. Florigato. Don't pat yourself on the back just yet. My next Pokemon's gonna turn the tables. Well, aren't you fancy looking? Anyways, flame that bitch. Since you have a Terra Orb too, we can both terrestrialize our Pokémon. Fair and square. Very fancy kitty. Terrestrialize it for pussies. Oh, nice moves. Your skills sure are ripening. Your skills are ripening quick. Man, you sure battle like someone with more than two gym badges. Oh, that was a great battle. Proof for sure. Here, take these as thanks. I challenge you again literally right now, but champions have to be understanding. So I'll hang back and respect your time. Keep on collecting badges for now. And let's battle each other next time we run into it a gym. And, um... I hope you get even stronger. Like, way, way, way stronger. And once you do, you and me can just battle our hearts out. Alright, time for you to whoop that gym test. Thanks for this. Oh, I hate it. This is it for the gym test. I'm standing by so I can jump in the moment they need me. Aww. Sweepy Jolteon. Cute. Ah, 
Yeah, she healed you up after that. Nice of her. So Drill Run wasn't the move for Dunsparce? Hold up, I'm looking that up real quick again. Hyper Drill. At level 32. Okay. Welcome to Lavencia Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Ross, yes? Great. Now, in order to face the gym leader, Iono, you'll first need to pass the test. Here at Lavincia Gym, that means starring in one of Iono's streams! Iono's a streamer, so as a gym leader, so we want you to dazzle her audience with your skills and rack up those subscriptions. Just head outside. You'll soon find out what you need to do. Now get out there and have fun. I'm gonna hate this. Don't hijack my content, bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Iono Zone! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Your eyeballs are mine, caught in my electro web. Who saw what's it? Iono! I'm the gym leader here. Hello, hello, hola! Ciao and bonjour! Hello, hello, adieu, bonjour! Oh, snap, look at you! Already a master of Iono East! Not your first rodeo then, eh? And, uh, I hope this doesn't come as too much a surprise, but you're being broadcast live to the world right now! Smile! Anywho, Challenger, thanks for coming out to Lavencia Jam to see me! I'm super happy you're here, but I'm also a bit of a celeb, you know? I'm all kinds of busy, so I can't collab with you unless I know you can bring in those sweet, sweet viewer num- <clears throat> Gotta make sure you can bring some real passion to my stream. <laughs> and so, if you want to battle me, you're gonna have to help me make this live stream a viral hit first. Got it? I can tell you just can't wait to get started. Well, well, well then, allow me to explain the plan. Come on out, Mr. Walksabout! <clears throat> oh, Ross. What a coincidence meeting you here. Say what? Do you guys know each other or something? This here dude had a real aura about him when he was walking down the street, so I snatched him up from my dealio here. You are uh, too kind. <laughs> well, anywho... Since you're today's challenger, I'm gonna have you play hide and seek with Mr. Walks about here. Look for the good gentleman using the street surveillance cameras. Find him three times, and you can consider this gem test passed. We need a better name for this challenge, though. I'll call it Where in Lavincia is Mr. Walks about? You think that title's safe? Nothing iffy about it or anything, right? <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful these days, girl. What is? I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go. Get ready to hide, Mr. Walks About. I feel like I'm with the Pokemon League for many a past favor, so I'm more than happy to help. Do be di do bear with me as I try my best in my allocated role. Oh, the magic book! Mayhap I are dapper gentlemen's nearby. Hey, Mr. Walks About, you good to go? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, ready he be. Mr. Walksabout's hiding somewhere in this video feed, friendo. Open those eyes wide like a magnemite and get to searching. Ready or not, here our challenger comes. Find Mr. Walksabout. Test begin. There you are. Oh dear, seems you found me. Our challenger has found Mr. Walksabout! Wowza, you did it! You're one cool kid! Wow, 
Well then, before we move on to the next round, let's make these a little more interesting. You have to have a battle with one of my fans. Get out here, you silly Pokemaniac. The Iono Hype Squad's here. Long live the Iono Zone. <laughs> Fanboy Marty. Kitty. Abomination. Bad move, buddy. <sighs> Wanna lose Ayano Hype Squad forever? And you win! Well done, Challenger Friendo! Time for a change of scenery! Here we go, the next stage for my totally rad test. Everybody loves it. It's the Pokemon Center. Mr. Walksabout is once again hiding in the feed somewhere. Panic! Uh, find him quick! Look, he's behind the counter. <laughs> oh, and here I thought I blended into my surroundings quite well. Mr. Watts about and found once again. Yes, I knew you were something special. Let's spice things up again before moving on to the old next round. That's right, it's another Pokemon battle. Get out here, Pokemaniac pal. Miss Iona's watching. I can't lose. <laughs> Fanboy number two, Michael. Aw, oh, Dynamo. Oh shit, Dynamo. I can't ground that. It's got levitate. Ew. I just want to get some of my health back. <laughs> or all of it back. <laughs> Bitch, your game is garbage. Oh, you're gonna take yourself down with recoil. Thank you. I was like, oh, am I gonna need three shots? Never mind. Two is good. Eh, maybe only a third. Sorry, you adorable bastard, but you gotta go down. Just slurp that up. Lost you win. My devotion to Miss Iono. And you win! Well done, Challenger Friendo! There's no stopping ya. Master of seeking and master of battling. You're the real deal. Alrighty then, time for a change of scenery! The last stage will be this place right here. The battle court where battles are raging. Can you find our Mr. Walks About among these randos? Let's find out. Ready? Go! He's not one of the battlers. My, my, I'm really done. Hope you will find your treasure in your independent study with just as much ease. 
Woo! My subscriber numbers are on the rise like a super fast Electros crawling out the ocean. I mean, congratulations on passing my gem test. Hot diggity dang, what a good time, huh? You had people on the edge of their seats worldwide. I bet I could have some super ad streams by collabing with you. So hey, when you're ready, just hit up my lobby staff. They'll get you all set up to collab with me. Lickety split, I'll be ready to go when asked. Mission complete. Inflate Iano subscriber count. You know what? Just to refill the PP. <laughs> PP. It's like since I'm already outside, I don't have to go through a loading screen. <laughs> Let's rock and roll, bitch. I see Iono gave your performance the thumbs up. Amazing job. Well done on clearing the gym test. You've now earned the right to challenge the leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge Iono now, the supercharged streamer? Very well. Allow me to show you the battle court. Let's end this woman's career. Actually, it'll give her more subscribers because subscribers love to watch. People seem to like to watch streamers in pain. Just a pattern I've noticed. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Fire Iona! Woo! Your eyeballs are mine. Caught in my electro web. Who's what's it? Iona! Hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour! It's time for the Iono Zone, everybody! Today's challenger is flying high like a watch roll. It's Ross! Yay! How you feeling about this battle? Like I can't lose. Hey, hey, we got a lively one here. You'd make a gnarly influencer, friendo. Alrighty then, who's ready to see me kick some butt? Looks like you're all getting hyped. Electro King gave 5,000 poke. Ah, thank you much, Lee Electro King. Let's get this show on the road. How strong is our challenger? I don't know. Let's find out together. <laughs> hello, hello, bonjour. La Vencio leader Iono. Give me a battle that'll electrify all my viewer pals. Okay, bad matchup. Very bad matchup. Yeah, that would have been bad if I hadn't switched. Ah, Belly Bolt's not her ace. Of course, all the gem leaders, like, last Pokemon is gonna be something that's not that type when they terror into it. Charged with power? What? What is that ability? 
Oh, I'm scared! Oh, you cock. So that first spark definitely did more damage. So when it takes a hit, its next move gets charged. Maybe it's just next electric move. Okay, Luxio, you know, lady, I like your style. You have good taste. Battle got out. Battle ran out. Haha. <laughs> now suffer. Fuck your accuracy. Never mind. Your accuracy remains unfucked. Now, what even is Toad School's Terra type? I need to check. Is it grass or ground? I just realized something. This Pokemon gets double fucked by ice. I don't know why it took me this long to realize. Miss Magius is her ace in the hole. Interesting. Oh no, this isn't good! Loyal fans, I need to hear you cheering! Give me all you got! Does Miss Magius have Levitate? Oh, fuck. That could be problematic. Terra type is ground. Come forth, shiny little light bulb. I'm not done yet. Iono power, go! <laughs> Look at you making me use status moves. Yeah, I, I think it has levitate, but let's try. Fuck. That did shit. Bum 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 the fucking Christ. I like her energy though, like damn girl, go. Work it. What's abusing hex? Oh, well then. Hex this, bitch. And 
Gym 3 down. She keeps dancing. Pokemon faint, and Iono dances. When will she stop dancing? There is. You're as flashy and bright as 10 million volt Thunderbolt, friendo! Our challenger came out victorious. Well done, Ross! Both us are well. I hate to say it, but I lost. Thanks for cheering me on, anywho, my loyal fans! Well then, what does our challenger get for beating me, the lean, mean, streaming queen? I'll tell ya, you win a gym badge! Woohoo! Screen cap this quick! This'll be a shot you'll wanna save in your brain spaces forever! <laughs> Character does the pose. By the by, he's with three gym badges. Pokey Pals of up to 35 will be easier to catch. They'll listen to you when you ask them to do stuff, too. And as my thanks for such a sweet pick, I'ma give you a TM! Ooh, that's good. That's very good. If any of you found our that you find battle to be bzz, shocking, go smash that subscribe button! Your eyeballs are mine, caught in my electro web. Who saw what's it? I don't know the supercharged streamer. Catch y'all later. <sighs> okay, I can stop talking like that now, right? <sighs> Free me from my curse. Pardon me, hello. You just defeated the gym leader, yes? And your name is Ross, if I recall correctly. Tell me, do you seek to become champion? Just what I hope to hear. You have a rare talent, especially for your age. Aim high. Greater heights are within your reach. Oh, but I've gotten ahead of myself. I am Gita, chairwoman of the Pokemon League, the organization that runs these gems. As you seem to be collecting gem badges, I suspect we'll meet again down the line. Until then, good day to you. Oh god, new classes. You're now certified by LaVincia Gym. Congratulations. Oh. Yeah, you do not get healed after a gym. Alright, so before we wrap this up, <laughs> thought it was going to be like just 30 minutes of doing the gym, but god, I've spent over an hour in this one fucking city. But I mean, I completed a story objective, so... With it. I'm gonna check out that lighthouse. Might not even be anything of interest there, but I don't know. Fuck it. Let's go. Okay, so now we have repeat ball and nest ball in the room available. Repeat balls are decently, or really good, honestly, in catching duplicates. So yeah, there's another path out of the city. Okay, but besides the one from the trainer, I can find the wild grasshoppers here. There's a titan close to this city. The Lurking Steel Titan. Just go around. And it's not a closest Poke Center is Zapapico. There's one up there. Man. 
It'll probably be like a watchtower or something I could fast travel to. Maybe I'll check that out next. Um, I'm getting turned around again. Where am I going? East. East. So let's see if there's anything interesting at the lighthouse. If you climb the lighthouse up ahead, you'll get a great view of the whole city of Lavencia. Bears. Burps. Gurm. Goop. Burp. Ghoul. Alright, Lighthouse, what items do you have for me? This is one of the ten sites of Paldea. Can you see our house? You can see super far. I mean, that's a view, alright. Very low resolution view. Sure is quiet. It's quiet at the top of this lighthouse. Pokemon called Watrail can sometimes come here to rest their wings. Yep. Icy wind. Higher up than I expected. Saw one, I swear. I saw a Rotom on the hill leading up here. A real wild Rotom, not in a smartphone. All this nature is out here waiting right behind a bustling modern city. Makes my hiker's heart so happy. Okay, so there ain't shit up here. I mean, let's check up this path. Hi, Meryl. Bye, Meryl. And this does start leading up into the root. More of these asshole Tauros. Oh, a Cyclosaur. It's like, what the fuck is that? Health. Oh, this is getting a bit more grand. Fuck is that? Okay, you're at the highest level right now, so we'll catch a Voltorb. They really need to fix the fucking icons in this game. Bop! So yeah, it seems like this is a fine leveled area for us. Get in the ball, ball. Trio, Q fan, the Rolling Coley line. Ugh, so many new things to catch. So many new friends to make. All of them old shit we've seen before. It rolls to move. If the ground is uneven, a sudden jolt from hitting a bump can cause it to explode. And that'll be a bad time. Roll goalie. Honestly, Scyther's not a good fit here. These shadows just vanish when you open the menu. 
That's gonna fucking hurt. That fucking hurt. You gotta be shitting me. Tumbleweed! Let's get it. Sunny days, Roly Coley will come out into the grassy plains and roll around. Then it will eat the grass that gets tangled in its wheel like leg. Leg. It's a fucking tumbleweed! Get its ass! Rambling. Just floating eyes in this. You a ghost. You are a ghost. Well, this kill. Because I'm assuming you're also grass. Yes, that kill. Fuck! Alright, Scyther ain't gonna cut that. Eh, silly cobra. Rufflet. Oh. Rufflet's a friend. Oh! You little shit! I'm getting done trio. Um... Game? The Phantom Doug Trio. Is that just your gas, or are you shiny? No, there'd be a sparkle, right? You're just... It's just your fucking color. It's looking weird. So this sucks. The Doug Trio are incorporeal. Burp. Violent burp. Choir burp. Alright, Rufflet has good defense. Goodbye, Scyther. Shit. Bite. Ow. Get in this ball. I might need stronger for you. Never mind. Is there rough luck to put up a little bit of a fight? It's tough little shit. Pick fights indiscriminately. They grow stronger and more powerful each time they faint or are injured. If something doesn't fucking eat them while they're unconscious. We got Q Fant over here. Let's see who we got leading up. Hello. Oh, another Bramplin. Oh, that was perfect. Easy peasy. All right, I want the ghost weed. Using the pointy tip of its trunk, it carves off chunks of hard rocks to eat. 
It is very docile and helps people with physical labor. Bop. You're weird and I kind of want you. Okay, well, not doing that again. Again, gross. Larvitar. Oh, wait, I already got Larvitar on the other path. Cool, new Pokemon. Bromblin was caught. A soul unable to move on to the afterlife was blown around by the wind until it got tangled up with dried grass and became a Pokemon. Weird. Ooh, what are you evolving to? I need to see. Hello. Hello. Okay, let's see if I can get a fucking Dunk Trio. If the game, you know, functions. So why couldn't I get the one I had snuck up on? Can you not stealth them for some fucking reason? Actually, Dunk Trio has, like, no defense, right? This... This don't kill. Okay, never mind. We are good. Unless you crit. Then we are not good. And accuracy down, for fuck's sake. That could be a problem. Okay, good job, Dunsparce. Alright. Another gem, another badge, and a crap load of new Pokemon capture. Hey, fuck you! Get in the ball! But, yeah, this has dragged on long enough, so that is it for this episode. Uh, I didn't cover as much ground as I would have liked, but, hey, we're getting some shit done. I mean, Pokemon are evolving, badges being obtained, more Pokemon caught. It's not quite progress progress, but it's something. I mean, more options, baby. It's three heads bob separately up and down to loosen the soil nearby, making it easier for it to borrow. Bo bo Burrow! Oh my god, I became incapable of saying that word. Jesus. But yeah. Oh my god, it's 5 a.m. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode, everybody. Oh lord. Until next time, you all have a great evening and take care of yourselves. Good night. <laughs>